Tonight, as we learn more about the owner and operator of a wholesale jewelry distributor in Johnston, who is being held in federal custody tonight after being charged in a multi-million dollar fraud scheme. The accused appeared in federal court in Providence today, and that's our refined Eyewitness News reporter, Steph Machado, who has more details on the case from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. The Secret Service special agent who investigated this case wrote in a court affidavit that Gerald Kent's alleged jewelry scheme was unusually sophisticated, involving phony invoices, fake websites, and impersonations, allegedly defrauding a company out of millions of dollars. Gerald Kent's jewelry company was based in this industrial building in Johnston, according to his corporate filings with the Secretary of State, and mainly sold jewelry online. The U.S. Attorney's Office says he used websites like Groupon and Zulily to sell his product, but beginning in 2014, prosecutors say he was inventing orders, hundreds of them, and selling the invoices to what's called a factoring company, a debtor that buys invoices from companies so they can have capital while waiting for customer payments to come in, but prosecutors say the Customers weren't real, and those payments were never coming. Groupon even terminated its relationship with Kent, but he allegedly kept writing up hundreds of phony invoices for fake Groupon orders, selling them to that debt company and receiving $5 million in exchange. The feds say Kent opened bank accounts in the names of Groupon and Zulily and created a fake Groupon website to help support his scheme. And a criminal complaint says Kent arranged for an unidentified female to pose as Groupon employee LH during teleconferences and email exchanges. It all came crashing down when prosecutors say a confidential witness told federal authorities all about the alleged scheme, turning over emails from Gerald Kent like this one with the subject line, fake invoices. Kent was arrested by U.S. Marshals at Foxwoods Wednesday night. He's charged with wire fraud and aggravated identity theft. And Gerald Kent is being held in jail until his next court date here at federal court in Providence. His defense attorney declined to comment on the charges. A person at the listed address for Kent Jewelry in Johnston also did not want to speak to us. And a phone number registered to the company was no longer in service. Reporting in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.